And we turn now to the North Valley right now in Merced. Police are searching for the person who shot and killed a nine month old baby. That shooting happened yesterday afternoon while his mom was pushing him in a stroller down a sidewalk. CBS 47's Liv Johnson joins us now live in Merced. And Liv, what are you learning about this tragedy this evening? Well, Brian, police are still not as far along as they would hope to be. They've been in this neighborhood all day talking to people and gathering surveillance footage. Also all day, we've been seeing people drop off toys at this makeshift memorial. Everyone trying to wrap their minds around how something this terrible could happen to an innocent baby. It was just a baby. It was just a baby. The makeshift memorial on 12th and Q Street in Merced went from a single teddy bear to a collection of toys on Thursday as people came to pay their respects to nine month old Darius King Grigsby, who police say was shot and killed on Wednesday while his mother and a friend walked him in a stroller. A day later, police still have more questions than answers. Probably one of the adults that was with the, the baby was probably in the intended target, but we just don't know that at this point. We're still trying to piece it together. Police say it was a drive-by shooting. A car pulled up and fired shots towards the mother, her male companion, and baby Darius. Darius died at the scene. I mean, just yesterday, you know, some of our officers had a difficult time dealing with just the fact that they tried life-saving efforts on this child that had just been shot. And to be there firsthand to see it, it's, it's very traumatizing for everybody involved. One woman who came to drop off a toy with her grandson says she's lived in the neighborhood for 30 years and has watched the area change. Us growing up, we were, it was a safe neighborhood. And now we're having to bury seven-month-old babies. So police have gathered some surveillance footage and they are trying to pinpoint a suspect vehicle right now. They are expecting to come out with that information soon, but they are asking anyone who knows anything. They might have heard something or seen something to please come forward. You can remain anonymous. I've been Merced. I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.